Hello. I'd like to talk to you about something very important. This is something that people try to put in the back of their mind so they don't have to deal with it. But no matter what, we all have to deal with this. And that's death. Uh, for a lot of people, death is a scary thing because they don't know what's after death. So I'd like to tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says that there is no reincarnation, there's no purgatory. The Bible says that there's only two places you go after you die, either heaven or hell. And we're going to be judged by God one day. So, how do you know if God will let you into heaven or not? Well, look at the Ten Commandments and see if you kept them. Have you ever told a lie before? Have you ever stolen anything? Or use God's name in vain. Have you ever committed adultery? The Bible says, Jesus said, that you don't even have to commit the act of adultery. All you have to do is look at someone with lust, and God sees that as adultery. So how are you doing so far? That's only for the Ten Commandments. If you've done those things, then God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterate at heart. So knowing that God looks into our thought life and sees even our heart's desires, would we go to heaven or hell? Obviously we go to hell. But the question is, how do we get our sins forgiven? Some people say, well, I do good things. I live the best life I can. And if you ask anybody, they would tell you that I am a good person. And I believe I'm a good person in my heart. Well, think of it like this for a minute. If you're in a courtroom and you've committed crimes against anyone, serious crimes, and the judge looks at you and says, yes, you are guilty. Do you have anything to say for yourself? And you say, I've lived a good life and I've done good things for people. And I believe in my heart that I'm a good person. That will not work with the judge. And it certainly won't work with God. By God's standards, we're not good people. And the fact that you may have done good things in your life doesn't take care of the fact that you sinned against God. You have a fine to pay. So the question is, how can you get back into a right relationship with God? The Bible says that there's nothing you can do to earn salvation. It's a free gift of God. God came down in the flesh. His name was Jesus. Lived a perfect sinless life. Then he was put on the cross. And it was on the cross that the wrath of God, it should have came upon you, fell upon Jesus. Then he was laid in the tomb. And on the third day rose again from the dead. And he defeated death. But... That doesn't mean that you're automatically forgiven for your sins. Just if I, if I had a gift for you, you would have to reach out and receive it. So how do you receive God's gift? The Bible says you have to repent and put your faith in Jesus and in Jesus alone. Turn away from your sins. A lot of people say, well, yeah, I guess that's true, but I kind of enjoying my life right now and I like I like my sins and I know if I committed to this I would have to give up some of the sins that I love well you have to ask yourself this is there any sin that you love so much that you would be willing to spend an eternity in hell for it think about it God loved you so much he sent his son to die for you all the pain and torture he went through was for you but for you to be saved, you have to repent, put your faith in Jesus. But most people won't do that. Why? I believe the number one reason is this. It's because of pride. People say, no God is going to tell me how to run my life. I don't want God's forgiveness. I didn't ask him to do it. So, no, I'm not going to do this. Why should I? Well, until you come to understand what God did for you. Until you understand that you're not a good person. 
that you've sinned against God and you're, not, as the Bible says, a wicked and evil person. We are all wicked. We're all wretched people. That's what the song says in Amazing Grace, saved a wretch like me. So that's what you have to do. But and if you come with a prideful heart, God will not accept you. The Bible says that God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So that you have a decision to make. Um, please understand that I don't get any joy out of coming coming and pointing out people's sins and I'm not the judge of anyone only God can judge I'm just trying to tell you that one day he will judge you and he wants to forgive you so uh, I'm going to post a link here on why I believe Christianity is the only right religion and how you can get your that's how you can get your sins forgiven. I don't get anything out of doing this, so I'm not asking for any money or anything, uh, so please think about these things. I only uh, make these videos because I want to see you in heaven.